This is Entrepreneur Studio brought to you by SC Biz News. I'm Patrick Bryant, CEO of software development firm Code and Trust and chairman of the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. Our sponsor is Matt Parda and Chris Corley of Harbor Wealth Management Group who are no strangers to helping entrepreneurs in our community. And we're here today with Greg Surratt for Entrepreneur Studio. You have done amazing things in growing uh, Seacoast Church and, and ARC and helping other churches grow. Uh, and I really do think that while you, you work in a faith-based place, you are a phenomenal entrepreneur mm -hmm. that, that really saw vision and grew it and um, and now that you've done so much, it looks really easy, right? <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, to, to the outsider, they might just go, oh yeah, Seacoast just came together. Yeah. But that's just not the case of, of who you were as a person or, um, or where the, the whole organization ended up going. I mean, it, it, before Seacoast, you had some struggles uh, and I learned a lot of lessons, right? I would right? say so. I was uh, fired in my first three jobs in ministry. Oh my and gosh. I think I think that's why uh, uh, I'm a, a planter. You call it entrepreneur because I, uh, I had to. Nobody wanted me. What, what, what kind of resume is that? And uh, I can remember uh, the third time I was fired, my wife uh, got me a little bargain book. I think she paid 25 cents for it in a bargain book stand years ago. And it was called All Originality Makes a Dull Church. And uh, the premise of the whole deal is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can learn from other people. Just learn, And yeah. in those days, at least for me, and I think for a lot of churches, we were kind of siloed within our own denomination or our own little church. And I'd always been a part of small churches in a denomination. And, and I read that book and it, it was a story of like six or seven uh, entrepreneurial pastors, yeah. what we call it today. Sure, yeah, thanks. That we're doing things differently. And I, man, I bought every book in the bibliography and I was dirt poor. I'd save up my money and buy every book by these guys so I could learn. Yeah. And it became a principle of lifelong learning. It really has. I, I love it. And I hear that from so many entrepreneurs that they are avid readers mm -hmm. and avid question askers and avid uh, learners of yeah. what they don't know and, and how to, to, to grow and to see new ideas, yeah. which you clearly you clearly saw. So in, in this book and, and obviously being fired and in that time and, and kind of creating the path uh, to what you've built now, what, what was like a key takeaway that, that you really made you say, oh, okay, we, we, we can learn from this other church? Well, I think that you can learn from anybody. Mm. You can learn something every day, every conversation. The key is to ask the right questions. I totally agree. I, I, I can make a, a cocktail party that's incredibly boring, quite amazing yeah. night for myself sure. just by asking the right questions of someone and, and, and sucking everybody, into it. Everybody has a story, and a lot of times we come in and we want to tell ours, you yeah. know. And uh, but if you can learn to ask the right questions, uh, you can learn you can learn a lot of things from surprising sources. I absolutely love that. What a what a great a great story, and what a what a great overcoming of. Of, uh, of life circumstances that you have. I, I just, I love it so much and, uh, and appreciate you being here. Thank you. Good to be here.